Hi, my name is Kent Marame, and I'm the Community Engagement Manager at the Japanese American Cultural Campaign Center. And Mochitsuki is my favorite day and event of the year. I am half Yonsei, half Shinisei. My father's an immigrant from Kumamoto, and my mom is a Sansei um, by way of Kumamoto and Fukuoka. My family in Japan, specifically from Kumamoto, has been making mochi with usu and hine um, since forever. I actually learned a lot of my mochitsuki turning and pounding techniques from my mom's side um, because my grandpa, who's Nisei, was the one who used to turn the mochi, and my uncle was the one who taught me, and so now I'm turning the family mochi, about half of the mochi that we make. So when I started working at JCCC in 2015, I was um, tasked with continuing this event that we have done called the Children's Oshogatsu Workshop. But there's a couple staple programs and workshops that I wanted to keep, and one of those was Mochitsuki. It's an important workshop to me because we're not only teaching Yonsei, Gosei, and maybe some Shinisei about Mochitsuki, but we're also having a lot of folks who aren't part of the JA community. We have non-Nikkei people in our workshop too. And introducing this art form to them is super important to me um, because we're teaching Japanese cultural traditions that you won't see anywhere else. What you'll find a lot of times is when you talk to Shin Nikkei folks, especially ones from metropolitan areas like Fukuoka and Tokyo, they've never made mochi the traditional way with usu and kine. If I wear my yonsei hat, it's baffling to me because you would think this tradition that came from Japan, people would still be doing it. But with the reality of things in Japan, you know, people don't have the space to house kine and an usu, so a machine is much more compact and, it's, and in fact it's actually easier just to buy the mochi prepackaged. When my family brings people who are from Japan to our family event, it's actually a lot of times you'll see um, a sionsei or sansei teaching these shin nisei and shin isei how to pound mochi. In fact, this past um, Osio Tanaka Farms event, there was a family of all Shin Nikkei folks. They live in Irvine and they were so excited and ecstatic to do something like this. Um, I asked all of them, I kind of pulled them and I was like, hey, have you guys ever done this before? And they had said, no, never. We're from Tokyo. People don't do this in Japan or in Tokyo. I asked the dad, I said, how was this experience for you? And he said, he started tearing up and he said, I'm so grateful that this organization is doing this. He said, I haven't done this since I was a kid, and I'm glad my son got to do this because I don't think he would have been able to do this in Japan. So that to me was a, a moment of like passing on a cultural tradition that is almost extinct in some parts of Japan that Nikkei outside of Japan are able to help contribute back to folks who have lost that tradition. So to me, Mochitsuki, the event itself is one aspect. It brings people together and it's, it's the common causes to make mochi for the new year. We're bringing people together around an usu, around a table where we're momeing the mochi. But on top of that, the comparison is, we're starting off with steamed rice that is individual grains of rice. We're literally breaking down the molecular compounds of the rice and pushing it together and mashing it together, much like we're bringing families together every year. People are coming from out of town, they're flying in, they're driving in. At least for my family, there's no other event that brings us together like Mochitsuki. So please join us at the Osio Tanaka Farms Mochitsuki Pound Off next year. I look forward to seeing you all there. You're gonna go home with sore arms, but it's totally worth it.